I definitely agree that high school students take courses about health nutrition. I feel this way for the following reasons. First of all, it helps students understand their body. If the student's sick or difficulty situation comes, it is really important to take care of their body. And second, uh, it is really important to always to have knowledge is uh, whole knowledge in their brain. And uh, they take care of their body and their, for their future is really good for health nutrition. For those reasons, I think the students take courses about health nutrition. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh shit. I forgot to say the reasons. I'm looking at that and I'm just like, God damn it, you right there. There goes the pause. Yeah. That was your first time. Let's go. Let's it. Oh boy, 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 boy. Let's go see. Hey, to be honest with you, how was I it? Where when you were going and then you went into the second reason, I'm like, oh my God, she's like on a 24 right now. I was like, oh my God, she's literally like literally at a 24 right now. And so that's why I was like, you know what? I'm feeling real good. But then you ended up stuttering. And then you looked at me, you're like, oh, and I said, uh-uh. And I was like, uh-uh, you keep fucking yeah, yeah. going. You motherfucking stop. You'll keep on going. All right. That's called, what do you call that? Oh my God. What is that called? Re shit. I don't know. My vocabulary is gone. <laughs> It's called, it's called getting your shit back on track. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's congratulate yourself. That was the first time. Okay, you can breathe a sigh of relief. I told you that the black Jesus angel was on your shoulder, such as me. All right, and to be honest with you, hey, not bad. Not bad? Not bad at all. Remember, your goal is just to get an 84. If you come in swinging at like a 22, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see. Uh -huh. Okay. But if you come in swinging and get a 22 right off the bat, holy shit. Hey, I'm feeling really good. Okay. And so I don't know. We're going to see right now. I just submitted your score, but oh my goodness. I don't know what to say, for example, because there is no not much this example it's for coherence. Well, right? that's okay. You know, you didn't say the <laughs> you did say the two reasons, though the following reasons. That's your for example. <laughs> the following reasons you saying for the following reasons. That's your example right there. So, man, but that wasn't bad. You got stuck. I don't know how much that's gonna be held against you if it does. Now, okay, I got we got the score. The score is ready. Now, it's not all about expectations. This is your first go. Your, I don't even expect that. <laughs> your goal is to get an overall 84. Yeah. That was a very first go. If this is if you have a bad score here or there for whatever reason, it's because the pause in the middle. But let's see. Here we go. 288. Okay. 288, not bad. I think I thought it would be, oh. 22? You got a 22, correct. Uh, you got a 22. Yeah. Bravo, let's do it. Not bad. Hey, if we actually look at this score, mm -hmm. not bad at all. That big pause in the middle did end up fucking us up. To be honest with you, you see all that green? That's what I'm aiming for. But you know what's crazy? That's how significant that pause was at the middle. If you were okay. to speak no as pause. you did from here all the way through, I'm guessing this would be high 80s, high 80s, maybe 90, high 80s. This would have, maybe your vowels would have stayed there and your vocabulary depth might have stayed there too. But again, Vowels, yes, it is a three out of four impact. I'm not exactly sure why they put that down. It's 57. Doesn't make much sense. Welcome to AI. It's a piece of shit. Uh, vocabulary death, I really don't give a fuck about it because I think it's one or two out of four. Don't really care. But your diversity, grammatical accuracy, and remember, you said Arsenio. I didn't say for example, but check out your discourse coherence. 99. Let's go. Oh. So that goes to show you that it doesn't always mean just because you didn't say for example or 
also more of a No, I'm sorry. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, it, just because you didn't say those doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, mm-hmm. so if we look at this, if we minus the rest of that, that little gap there, mm-hmm. your speaking rate, sustained speech and everything would have been astronomically high, I believe. You got a 22 in your first one. And guess what? That was your first ever one. Now, obviously, we have to find the question two, three, four, but that's a high average already because all you need is an 84. So when you practice that listening, and if you could get a 22 in the listening, and you get a 22 and you get a 22 or 21 in the there you go. You already got your score. And you're gonna do very well in the other one. Yeah. So (laughs) if you were if you were to ask me now, Soko, and you say Arsenio. Do you think I'm going to get this score by in a month? With confidence, I could say, hey, if you're speaking, if you do this and you maintain 22 to 20 in your other ones, you're going to get a 22 average. If we could get a 22 average, if we get a 21, your baseline, meaning if you get 21, 21, 21, 21, you got an 84. Yeah. But that means we're going to have to consider a lot of things in regards to your reading and especially the writing. That's going to require some work. Okay. So very good. Very good. Very good. I am so excited. Awesome.